Hey guys, glad you're here for a mini message with us. Uh, joining us uh, however you are, whatever platform you're on with us today. Uh, but Genesis 43, these brothers are getting together again. We're going to have dinner. So verse 24, it says, Then the manager led the men into Joseph's palace. He gave them water to wash their feet and provided food for their donkeys. They were told they would be eating there, so they prepared their gifts for Joseph's arrival at noon. So remember, they thought they were going to be thrown in jail. They thought, this is going south. We're going to be thrown in jail. They gave their practice speech about the money that they had uh, been had been put back in their sacks after they got food the last time. So, you know, they think everything's going south. But they had water to wash their feet, food for their animals. They apparently are going to eat lunch. Verse 26 says, when Joseph came home, they gave him the gifts they had brought him, then bowed low to the ground before him. Which remember too, that is another fulfillment of prophecy. Joseph had had those dreams when he was much younger about his brothers bowing before him. He had shared that with them. They hated him for it. And now the word of the Lord is coming to pass. So here they bowed before him. And after greeting them, verse 27, he asked, how is your father, the old man you spoke about? Is he still alive? Yes, they replied. Our father, your servant, is alive and well. And they bowed low again. So once again, we're fulfilling prophecy. And he's asking about his father. You know, they have no idea, but he's asking about his own father. Then Joseph looked at his brother Benjamin, the son of his own mother. Is this your youngest brother, the one you told me about, Joseph asked? May God be gracious to you, my son. Then Joseph hurried from the room because he was overcome with emotion for his brother. He went into his private room where he broke down and he wept. So these brothers are expecting to be arrested, to be seized, thrown in jail. Instead, they're treated with kindness. And this really matters here because remember, these brothers had not treated Joseph with any kindness. And now here comes Joseph back showing them the grace of God is what he's doing. He's showing them grace, unmerited, unearned favor and forgiveness. They deserve none of this. And Joseph is showing it to them. So see, God's putting, been putting them through these trials of the famine, of struggling with the money, the food, the putting Simeon in jail. Jacob's been very nihilistic about the whole thing. He, he, he's been upset. He's not trusting in God. And so they've been brought to this low place. And now here comes Joseph, and he's going to show them love and kindness and forgiveness. It's, this is part of bringing them to repentance is what's happening here. Now, when he sees Benjamin, he, he really struggles because you remember, I said this yesterday, this is the one brother that didn't throw him in, throw him in a, a, a hole, right? That didn't throw him in a cistern. That didn't sell him to Ishmaelite traders. And this is his full brother, the brother from his own mother. And so he breaks down. He's very emotional about this. He hasn't seen his brother in so long. And he has to leave the room. Because he begins to weep. That's understandable emotion. But this story is uh, about to come to a happy ending. You know, and it's, it's a neat story that God takes this family through. Is what God intended or what man intended for evil, God will use for good. Joseph's going to tell him that. And that he's going to reunite this family. And that even through the broken relationships and the terrible things that were done, God overcomes. So whatever's happened in your life, the relationships that may be broken, the hurts that may have happened in the past, the, the things you've gone through, just like God overcame in this family, God can overcome in you and in your family. It's a great message that nothing is ever too broken for our God to fix. He's just that big. And we'll continue talking about that God another day.